Lydia, and here's a quick Canva tip and a quick SEO tip. Today, when racking my brain for, man, I'm having a good hair day, so what on earth should I record? I came over to YouTube and I typed in Canva How To. And these, of course, are the most popular items. Don't forget that when it comes to YouTube and Google, they are businesses. So they're always going to want to match your search query or match you faster so that you keep coming back to their service. So when we do SEO, we need to make sure that we are matching the right thing to the right thing, right? So it looks like these are the most searched topics right now. So how to remove background, change, well, cut out image, make image transparent, make transparent background. So by golly, you guys want to learn about transparency. So we're going to learn about transparency. Today is how to make an image transparent. Stick with me. If you already know the background remover, I'm going to be going into a couple of fun. You guys know me. I'm going to be showing you some stuff. I'm going to give you some advantages So stick around to learn some cool stuff. Who is she? She has no other hairstyle except for this one. So you can see here how I've got this like staggered effect and then I've got another photo which I'm gonna show you. Let's get into it. So first of all, hold on, don't run away. I know, I know you're mad at me. You're looking at this and you're like, Olivia, I don't want a design lesson. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, but you have to. You have to know these. You have to know PNG, JPEG, and even SVG because if you don't, it's never going to click. Why, why my things have a white background? Why aren't my things having a background? Hang in there. There are lots of file types so that when you come up here to share and download, you're like, what is, what do I pick, right? For today's purposes, we're going to be covering JPEG, PNG, SVG. You guys know what a PDF is. You know what a PowerPoint is. You know what a video is. You know what a GIF is. So these are the three that most people don't know. Hang in there. JPEGs are small resolution, small file size. Not small in size, small file size. You see what I'm saying? PNG is complex images, illustrations, and can be transparent. PNG can be transparent. JPEG has the little white background, right? PNG, JPEG. If we come over to my website, these are PNGs. They are transparent PNGs, which I have optimized within an inch of their lives. These are JPEGs. JPEG, 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 PNG. Uh, JPEG, JPEG, JPEG. All JPEGs because they're small. They're teensy, right? So that my site loads fast. PNGs have transparency. And then throw a curveball, watch another one of my videos because SVGs are scalable vector graphics and their colors can be changed. Oh yeah, buddy. Right. But we're not doing that today. Delete. We're doing PNG JPEG. Now, first of all, if you just need a bunch of um, cutouts done, come on over to your Canva. See, I've already done this video once. Uh, come on over to this, your Canva. Hold on. Go to your branding. Right? Because hopefully you've got your stuff organized in folders, right? Right? They're not just going to go dig around in your uploads. Have a folder of your brand headshots. Pick one. Let's say, gosh, who is she? Is she a model? Let's click on this one. Notice how I'm not in a design file. You're going to click on the three dots. Click edit image. Holy cow. What's happening? What? What's happening? you can background remove directly from inside of a file. Look at that, it kept the railing, so that's nice. I shouldn't have worn this bra, it's fine. You can background remove and edit these photos, you don't have to be in a design file. Holy cow. So now up here on save, you can save to Canva or download to your computer. Well, I just need it in Canva, so I'm gonna click save to Canva and it saves a copy, boop, because I know you were gonna ask. I know you were going to ask. It saves a copy because I've already done this video once. I hated the first one, so I re-recorded it. So here's the other one that I did. So you can see these two. And it now says edited. Dash edited. So you can quickly create all of these fast cutouts in your Canva directly of yourself. Wow. And they're still here. Because notice here's this bit. Here's this image. And here it is cut out. So that's how you just remove the background if you just want to go through and cut the background out of your items. But if you want to do an effect like this, obviously I just copied and pasted. I literally just had this image. I hit copy, command C, or right click copy, and then right click paste. Oh, yes, allow. Um, just made sure that they overlapped. Click background remover, and then remove the background one, right? Oh, didn't do a good job of my hair there. Didn't do a good job of my hair, but then that's how you do that, right? Now here's the dealio. Right, and I've already, again, I've already done this once. So I made a little collage graphic, like, ooh, look, what if I put some flowers and just kind of made this kind of fun, right? 
it doesn't if you want to save it as transparent you can make this background whatever you want white helps with the with the mentality of it so we'll do white so to save it as transparent you're going to come up here to share and this is where i re-recorded this video and i forgot to say it up top again you have to have canva pro i don't come at me don't don't come at me i didn't do it don't shoot the messenger, but, but it, it's worth it. If you need to make a bunch of transparent things, then go ahead and make them transparent for a month and then cancel your thing. Canva, I think, is incredibly worth it. Obviously, this is a Canva account, but you'll have to cl click transparent background. Transparent background. Wish everyone was transparent. The world would be a better place. And then you're going to uncheck your all pages. Click page two. And you can name this. So let's also name it trans parent girly right and then if you come over here to share and download it'll be a little easier to see <laughs> so i'm gonna uncheck this check page two. Oh, make sure this says transparent background click download and we wait okay now look at me when you save something you are handing it away from canva the amount of times people have asked me hey olivia where's my file i don't know you say you're saving it onto your computer. And if you're not organized in Canva, I bet you're not organized here. Make sure you're really creating some folders. So we're just going to save this transparent girly. And now I'm going to show you share download. We're going to do that again, except this time I'm going to do JPEG because I want to share the difference with you. I'm going to uncheck this transparent girly. So we're going to save as JPEG. Notice how there's no transparent option over here. Right. I'm going to click download. Okay. Transparent girly not. Now watch this, check this out. If I come look at these, um, these right here, the transparent one is a megabyte. It is a whole megabyte, right? That's uh, how much your computer has to load on a web page or load, right? Now look at the not transparent one, 114 kilobytes, kilobytes. That is a 10th, that is a 10th of the size. So when it comes to uploading images, you're really gonna wanna try to use as many JPEGs as possible because look at the difference. Now notice this one has the background and this one doesn't, what? So let's look at this next page and upload both of those files, the JPEG and the PNG. We're learning so much. Um, this one is transparent, la, 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 and this one is not, but it is a lower file size. So that's fun. So that's how you do that. Now let's talk about adding a transparent background. Like let's say I wanted like a landscape and I want the background to be transparent. Well, the Canva editor itself has a couple of limitations. It's not going to do its best. Like I really love this moth. We're going to play around with that. And we're going to come in here to like landscape. We're going to try our best to do something here. Um, so I kind of like Let's do some like snowy capped mountains. Again, we're at the mercy of Canva, but I'm gonna show you as many tips as I can. So I'm gonna click background remover, and then I'm gonna click background remover again to open up this panel. And now you can actually restore and erase. So if I show the original image, I can restore certain sections of it if I wanted, right? Or I can erase more sections of it. This isn't a more, this isn't like the most sophisticated editor ever again, because this is not Adobe Photoshop. This is Canva. So, you know, if we want our subscriptions to stay however much they are right now, we want them to stay. So that's how you create a transparent background if you specifically wanted that. And that's how you start to make collages. So I'm going to click on this little moth and click background remover because he's cool and I love him. Um, now he looks joint and we're going to sort of do this kind of vibe. That's fun. And then we're going to go grab me, right? Because I've already uploaded me over here. Look at that. So now we're starting to create a transparent um, image, which is really fun. And let's tinker around with putting this on a website. So we're going to go again, come over here to click share. We're going to click download. And then we're going to find the page that we want. So uncheck this. We want a PNG, because say it with me, PNGs are way to be, they're transparent. Page five, click done, check. A lot of people forget to check this. Transparent background. Choop, choop, choop. I also don't, yeah, 1920 is fine, so we're gonna click save. Okay, I saved that to my computer. Now let's go to Squarespace. Just get a little bonus tip here for you, why not? A little bonus, let's do it. You come for the transparent background, you stay for the 
I don't know. I don't know why you're staying. Um, we're going to click edit. And then let's, holy cow, I've got way too much on this. But, whoa. That was fun. Okay, don't be that. Okay, we're going to come here. And I'm going to click add block image. Hit the plus sign. Upload file. Gonna go find that. Again, this is ginormous. It's 2.2 megabytes, but it's transparent by golly. We're gonna click open, and you're now going to see how this is a transparent. It is going on top of everything else. It's gotta load, let it load. Calm down, Olivia. Check it out. Now it is a cool, transparent. Honestly, I also don't hate it. I kinda like it. So now this can go on top of things. I mean, we don't really want it to, but now it looks great. And then in Canva, you will are in Squarespace, so click edit section, uncheck fill screen so that this goes flat to the bottom, right? If you wanted this to be, you know, flat coming out here. And then you kind of have to finagle this. I don't love how they've done this new editor, but double click, design, fill. You gotta make sure the proportions are big enough to, um, there we go. Wow, who is she? Uh, so that's how you do a transparent, that moth is real mothin'. Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay, we're gonna click exit and not save anything, but that's how you do that. Now let me make sure I covered. Remove background, check. Make image transparent, check. Transparent background, check. Change background image. Uh, that one's gonna be a little bit tougher, changing the background image. Um, let me be specific about that. So in Canva's uh, artboard here, if I click on like these books, you're gonna right click replace background and that technically changes the background of this entire thing and now I can actually I mean I can even come in here let's go grab a random I don't know this sky replace background so now you can see that that moth is just so girth I don't know there's something about it now that's that's giving me the egg okay great so that's cool so you can see how to change the background when it comes to that so truly guys I know if you skip this you're coming coming back to it if you skip forward you've got to know the difference between these two files and how to upload them and how to download them to your computer you can also head over to canvas folder specifically if you want to start cutting the background out of things but it's going to be the background remover tool that's going to help you out a lot when it comes to making items transparent over here I'm gonna leave you with a bonus tip is that if you click on an image and click edit you can actually click on adjust and come all the way down to the bottom and click on a color you want to adjust and then I can change the color of my dress. However, it does it holistically so you can see it's actually changing my skin tone and my face as well. So it's a little bit challenging to do that, but it's kind of cool if you wanted to adjust um, the entirety of something. So that's a bummer that it, <laughs> that it changes like my skin as well. Like I wonder if I can change my black shirt here. Yeah, a little bit. It's letting me kind of change it like a smidge. Um, so that's just a fun tool. All right, guys, you now go forth, make some transparent items. Uh, reach out to me if you've got any other questions and thanks so much.